Hi, so many people have issues installing this uh, package and what I want to do is to follow the instructions in the documentation and do a fresh install and hopefully help you do the same thing locally. So let's begin. So we can go to the install part and the recommended version of Python is 3.6. I'm going to run it on a Windows machine, uh, but uh, I might do a Docker installation later, which will help you basically run it when, wherever you want. So let's start with a virtual environment. So we are going to use the Windows command line uh, prompt, but basically you could use uh, whatever uh, shell that you want or an IDE like PyCharm. I'm going to do this because this is some something that everyone has. So first off I'm going to start with uh, the Python that I run locally. You need to install Python and you can see that I run locally at 3.66 and I'm going to install a virtual environment using pip virtual env just like that which is already installed, but uh, for the sake of uh, the video, I'm going to do it again. So here it is. And I'm going to uh, create a new virtual environment. Yeah, virtual env. And I'm going to name it Venv Demo. The name is, it doesn't matter, you can call it word, whatever you want. I hope that backslash didn't screw me over. Let's see. Looks good. Venv. And we need to activate the virtual environment. And you can see here that once I do that, we are getting a fresh Python environment. Right? Venv demo. If I'm going to look at what we have installed here, We see that we basically have nothing, right? It's a fresh installation. Okay, so now we need to go uh, to GitHub and we need to copy the repository. Uh, let's see the way we could install it. So the first way is to do a git clone. And the second way is to install directly from GitHub. So uh, I think we're going to do uh, this one and probably later this one just in order to show how both of these work. So we need to do this. We need going to clone this repository. So I can just copy it just like this to the command line. And I will pause the video if installation takes time to make the video shorter, but you know, it's exactly the same thing. So let's pause. So we just cloned the repository here and let's let's follow. Create a virtual environment we just did. And we could upgrade pip, which is recommended, but we'll do it later. So let's see the into zipline trader and install it just like this. Make sure that the virtual environment is the one we've created. So let's do the installation. I will pause it again and we'll resume the, the recording once the installation is completed. So let's just see that it starts. See you soon. And we are back and we can see that the installation has completed so let's see if we have everything installed properly and that looks good and the zipline trader is installed locally directly from the uh, github clone and that's basically it so it should be installed and in the next video, what we're going to do is ingest data with the alpaca bundle. And then we're going to run some simple algorithm using that. So, yeah, that looks good. 
and I will see you in the next one.